Morning everyone, it's Saturday and I thought I'd just make a quick little video on some of the things I'm learning right now in the private coaching group with Peyton and Taylor Welch, Eli and others. Uh, so far, um, just chugging along, I'm almost on the accelerator, which is fantastic. I have just a few more videos, tons of notes, tons of notes. Probably going to have to go through it again. Uh, there's so much information. It took me about almost two weeks to go through the accelerator. But I'm also in the process of getting certified. And there's uh, videos in that one as well. And then also there's the in, um, done for you. And then uh, the private coaching. There's tons of great videos in that one as well. So this morning I'm just watching a video on... Uh, confidence uh, with Taylor Welch and basically closing with confidence so it all starts with control how do you get control one of that is being confident in who you are as a person so I just wrote some notes down this is my uh, this is my book that I use as a journal I write in it pretty much every day I used to try to write it write in it every single day so uh, one of the books that he mentioned, which I'm going to check out, is How to Think Like a Roman Emperor. So I'm going to check that out. I love reading books, love listening to books. I pretty much spend about four to six hours a day listening to audiobooks every single day because of the work that I do, which is delivering potato chips, and I'm in my truck every day. That allows me to listen to audiobooks, which is great. Uh, so... Uh, you have to have confidence in who you are as a person. So how do you do that? Well, the biggest way that I can think of to be confident is to actually not care what other people think about you. Because it really doesn't matter what people think about you. And it doesn't matter what you think people are thinking about you. In fact, it doesn't even matter what you think about yourself. Think about that one. That's pretty deep. It doesn't matter who you say you are. What matters is who you're becoming. Who are you becoming? You become someone when you are <clears throat> working on yourself on a daily basis because you want to be come you want to become a person that you can see in the future so it might be a month from now might be six months from now might be a year from now and the way that happens is by daily habits so i have a little ritual that i have every single morning i write down stuff and i give myself a grading system what i'm realizing by doing my little grading system you can just see it right here I give myself 10 points if I accomplish every one of these things. But what I'm noticing is there's a couple of indicators that I'm not doing a couple of things. So, for example, uh, I'm not doing role plays every single day. I, I don't put on here, do a role play every day, but I give myself points if I do a role play every single day. If that makes sense. I also have client research. So after pretty much digesting the um, accelerator program and then some of the other videos, now I'm in client getting mode, which means my focus is now not only on learning the craft of being an inbound closer, but also now reaching out to potential clients. <clears throat> so my goal is to uh, reach out every single day to one, maybe two potential clients. They could be in a group, they could be on LinkedIn somewhere, who knows where they are, but just reaching out, <coughs> excuse me, and not asking for a reference or anything like that, not doing anything, but just basically just contributing to the comments. That's the idea, if it's on Facebook or wherever. And then also emailing one or two new people every single day and making a new connection 
every single day. And that could be one person. If you want to just set the benchmark really low, one new connection, one new email, research one potential new client. Research is very important. So those are the things that I haven't done in the past. Uh, I think before, even before this course, if I ever wanted to reach out to someone, ugh, it's been rare. It's usually just word of mouth. That's the only way that I've done it. And now I'm getting into the process of now I have to get serious and start reaching out to clients, not out of desperation, but out of networking to see if I can actually help them out. So that's my goal over the next few weeks is to just track my results. And I honestly believe if I'm doing this on a daily process, <clears throat> on a daily basis, reaching out to one new person, man, that's that's between 365 and 730 new connections a year. And if you do something like uh, you round it off to 5%, that's 18 potential new clients so there you go so that's that's kind of my thought process uh, I do this every single morning I get up at five or usually on the weekends it's around six o'clock but during the week it's five o'clock every single morning and I I'm trying to make myself a better human being I'm trying to make myself <coughs> congruent <clears throat> Excuse me, a little parse this morning. I'm trying to make myself congruent with who I want to be. And it starts by writing things down. So if I say I'm going to write around, walk around a block, one block every single day, by golly, I should be doing that because it's easy. If I don't do it, there's something inside that's still kicking around that I'm either lying to myself or I'm stubborn or whatever it is because it's simple to write down, I'm going to eat three servings of fruit today. And if I don't do it, there's something wrong. <clears throat> and I honestly believe that, that will affect your confidence as well. And when you get onto a <clears throat> potential uh, sales call, your confidence is going to be rocked because, <clears throat> excuse me, because you're not confident. And I'm a little parched. I have asthma right now. So my medication ran out a couple of days ago. So I finally got some new meds. A little bit parched. It's hard to talk in the morning on a video, uh, especially after sleeping. And you don't have any water. So I'm just starting to drink some water. <clears throat> so this is also exercise. This is why we make videos. You make videos so that you can make all your mistakes. You can get all that stuff out into the open so that when you're on a sales call, you get better. So now you start realizing, okay, before I get on a sales call, I got to be energetic. I got to be awake. I got to have at least one or two glasses of water before I get on the call. Otherwise, I'm going to be parched. And if you're parched, your confidence will start dropping because you start... <coughs> All that stuff. So this is why we make videos. We make mistakes in those videos because that helps us to get better. And I don't care what people think right now. My goal is to just make videos. And if it serves someone out there, that's fantastic because this is serving myself. This is helping me to be a better person. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Give me comments. Uh, like this video. Um, all that good stuff. I'll try to answer any of your questions as best as I can. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in another video. Peace.